Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading. Let's see what September has for you guys for this month. Now your first card here with the element of earth, finances, and career, you have the Empress. So I see a lot of bountiful type of energy around you guys, getting opportunities, being around the right people at the right time. Uh, the Empress also speaks about abundance and creativity. So for some of you guys, it could be higher learning. It could be looking into um, getting into careers, uh, changing careers. For some of you guys, it could even represent uh, taking initiative in regards to the company or, or wherever it is that you work at. Um, higher learning more than anything. So for some of you guys, not necessarily going back uh, to get education, but it could be some type of short training. Um, more than anything, uh, what's really standing out here is the crown of the empress. And the crown uh, obviously speaks about new ideas, new opportunities, seeing things from a different perspective. So for some of you guys, you're already experiencing this bountiful type of energy around you guys. Uh, for, for some of you guys, it could be like really working long hours uh, because it does represent opportunity and growth, but it also speaks about um, taking the initiative and really, uh, for some of you guys, it could be that, yes, you're making more money, but at the same time, there could be some time restraint. So for some of you guys, a little bit of frustration uh, because it could be, again, uh, working longer hours, uh, stuff like that. So in regards to your uh, communication, the element of air, you have the Ace of Cups. So what they're saying here is for a lot of you guys, uh, love is really around you guys and you're experiencing or going into this new cycle, um, being able to experience reciprocation and it could be people around you. It could be that uh, your circle, your social circle has uh, decreased, but the most important people are the people that you should have around you are um, in fact around you so it does speak about uh people that are not vibrating to your energy perhaps being pulled back or perhaps um not really connecting with you anymore and you could be experiencing like uh you know some type of disconnect with some friends but what spirit is saying here with the empress and the ace of cups is love is around you uh, being very supportive uh, being inspired with friends or people that uh, see how inspired you are and really being able to tune into that type of energy. Now, in regards to the challenge, the element of fire for the month of September, you have the five of swords. So again, this is uh, specifically talking about what I just said right now, uh, being surrounded by, you know, by those people that really matter and those that have fallen back or those that try to create some type of discord or arguments, petty arguments above all, with the Five of Swords, Spirit is telling you take the higher road. Uh, don't don't really don't take the bait. Don't sit there and argue or debate with people um, if they are just not, you know, seeing you or seeing eye to eye with you or just trying to create problems or chaos. Uh, just you know, little by little, try to distance yourself from those people. It is important to do that. Like I said, take the higher road. Don't take the bait. Um, more than anything, what they're saying here is the people that are creating this type of, uh, like I said, petty arguments or, you know, um, just bumping heads. I, I think it has more to do with ego. So it could be that they're seeing you at a very better place in your life right now or that things are start, starting to fall in place for you. And they may not, you know, and this could be people that pretend to, you know, to create a, or carry a facade uh, and pretend to be friends or pretend to be relatives or people that are happy for you. But in reality, they're, you know, just being negative and you're being able to catch on to that. Pull away from that. You don't need that type of energy. Now, in regards to love and romance, you do have here the Knight of Swords. So I do feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with an air energy. I do have Libra here, some uh, Aquarius or Gemini type of energy. I feel this person comes and goes. Um, there is inconsistency here. They're not as mature as the type of energy that you would need. Um, also keep in mind for those of you guys that are currently single, but kind of getting to know someone or talking to someone, don't let them 
distract you from the goals and aspirations that you're trying to do right now, Virgo. I think that it has taken you a very long time to be able to see progress and movement, and that's happening now. So it's important to really stick with our, you know, what our goals and aspirations are. Don't let this distract you, distract you, sorry. Um, especially if you feel like the person, you don't really know where you stand with this person. And again, there is a come and going type of energy. So if that's what's, you know, what's happening right now, show them the door. Don't waste your time on that. I see you very, like I said, having the opportunity to really uh, flourish right now. And I want to say all through the month of September. So again, keep your goals and aspirations very focused and don't let that deter you. Uh, whether it be people trying to be negative or people just trying to waste your time or give you or keep you confused, keep away from that type of energy. And finally, spirit's advice is the nine of swords. So yeah, if you are dealing with an inconsistency type of energy or a person that you don't really know where you stand, stop wasting your time. With the nine of wands, someone has to step away from this connection. I don't see it happening from the other counterpart. And it could be because their immaturity. It could be like a feeling of wanting to know that they still have control or power over you. Don't waste your time with that. With the nine of wands, this speaks about having a lot of responsibility. So for some of you guys, this abundance is not coming for free, basically. You're really putting your effort. You're really uh, having to step up to the plate, but you're very capable, Virgo. So again, keep yourself very focused. Now with the card that you have here, this is all to do with knowledge and expertise, which is exactly what they were saying here. For some of you guys, there may be a need um, to take some type of higher learning or some type of courses for class, uh, sorry, classes uh, to help you or, or to become a better asset to your company or the place where you're working at. But this speaks about gain and insight. Um, it speaks about raising your energy and connecting to that of the passion and desire that you have. So again, don't distract yourself from petty things or things that are only or people that are only temporary uh, that could really keep you from progressing. So don't don't do that. Keep focus and only embrace those that are around you that genuinely want the best for you. OK, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.